While the immediate crisis over people getting sick from vaping clears up, public health experts warn it could be the beginning of a long-term problem. Yeah, a new study has those experts alarmed now, and THV 11's Rolly Hoyt has more on how tobacco fears are merging now with vaping fears. Don and Craig, it's a new data point in the debate over whether e-cigarettes cause more harm than good. For a decade, vaping has looked like an option when it came to quitting nicotine and tobacco, but this new study indicates if you don't quit e-cigs, you could be in the same danger. Unless you completely stop tobacco and you wean yourself from nicotine to get to zero, your risks of emphysema and COPD go up, not down, with the use of e-cigarettes. That's the alarming finding from a study of 32,000 people over three years. Amid the forest fire of worry over the rash of acute vaping lung problems, researchers have been tracking what the long-term trouble could be. This study says it looks a lot like old-fashioned tobacco smoking. If you're on e-cigarettes for two years, you're 30% more likely to have emphysema and COPD. These are the conditions you see older Americans with oxygen in their nose. I'm afraid we're going to have 30-year-olds in the same situation. It's another blow to the theory that vaping is a safer alternative to smoking. Public health experts like Dr. Joe Thompson have criticized the vaping industry for pushing that message. Now that the evidence shows the recent crisis could be blamed on black market THC products, he's concerned vapors will go back to thinking it's safe. You've got tobacco that causes a certain set of harms, and you have vaporized e-liquid which causes a separate set of harms, and together they even raise your risk of COPD and emphysema more than either alone. The vape shop business was hurt by about 50 percent. Dragon Vicenic went from a vaping store to a lucrative medical marijuana dispensary. That's a nice fallback as the e-cig industry takes another hit. Uh, people were scared. You know, they said, hey, what's going on? I do know that the vape shops are hurting because of, um, you know, that. And if you're scared over how you're ever going to quit. There are other nicotine products to try first. E-cigarette should be a last resort and it should be time limited. Another study out shows that vaping among young people remains a complex problem. Health experts warn that obviously no one should take up vaping or smoking as a teen. To that end, the House passed a federal law that you'll be able to have to be 21 now to get any tobacco products, including e-cigarettes.